Blackrock Mountain. Now, when I first up started playing it yesterday, I said that my unique point, point of and a point of the doing this video now, when these are going to be leaving the store next month, and all the cards are going to be moving into wild, was to, to at this from the, from my perspective, which is a mostly free play play. I have spent a little bit of money on this now. Um, mostly sort of player. Not pro. Been playing a little while, but avoided the adventures because money on them. Now thinking opportunity to get them going. My perspective on this. Um, yeah, so I've mostly avoided the adventures because I didn't really want to spend money on because <laughs> I'm cheap like that basically. And uh, yeah, now that they are leaving the store, I think it's next month. I'm pretty certain it's next month. Store. I can't remember if it's the start or the end. I'm pretty certain it's soon. Um, I kind of wanted to get them to have the opportunity to play them. Evidently now, um, so far I've played, I've finished Karazhan. Uh, I've played Clarazhan all the way through. Played Black Mountain. Not played League of Explorers yet, but I have started to unlock it. And I kind of want to give my view on whether it's worth someone who maybe doesn't spend money on it, is, is just a free-to-play player, or is debating doing it because the opportunity to buy them will be going soon. Um, to give you my perspective on whether I think it's worth it. Now, Karazhan I thought was very fun, but that's staying, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Blackrock Mountain, is it worth getting now that the cards aren't going to be much used unless you start playing Wild, which I don't play too much of, but maybe I will? Um, I would say yes, or at the very least, if you're still not sure about it, buy the first wing. I'm fairly certain if you buy the first wing, then play through that and buy the later wing later, so out of the store. So I definitely would say get the first wing, if, if you're getting a bit bored of playing other people um, and want something new to do, I would definitely say the adventures are the way to go. Um, I was getting kind of bored of things before I played Karazhan, and it really, uh, it really changed things up a bit. It's a really nice way to play differently. It's a really nice way to look at things differently and to have to play very differently. I mean. Blackrock Mountain is the first time I've had to design a deck. Well, no, technically second time. We did do one earlier on. Dollar Priest. Um, it is the first time I've had to design it. Well, second time I've had to design a deck specifically fight. Um, which is cool. It was nice to have to sort of think about that and then to go back in and tweak it and change things and decide what's working and what's not. That was a neat thing as well. So I, do, I did really enjoy that. And I'm also kind of looking, going back and playing the class challenges and... Um, the heroic modes get a bit better, I think. Um, a little bit of a sore point to not be able to have long use the cards, and equally, when it goes to potentially get to use those cards, then also I have the opportunity to use them in wild, which I can't remember what they said. I think they said they let you keep the cards and give you the dust for that. Then you I, I'm sure I heard you can maybe craft the cards. Not sure. Um, I'm not really read it too much, but having that opportunity to go into the wild and not be severely under um, understocked on all the cards is. I don't have too many of the gnomes and goblins cards. I don't have any of the Nuxramas cards because I just didn't get it before I left the store. Now I kind of wish I had. It would have been nice to go back and play Nuxramas, but. Very happy to have bought Blackrock Mountain. I definitely was a lot of fun. I bought the first wing of League of Explorers, and I probably will play that and finish them soon because that seems like a, a, ni a nice little adventure. I'm kind of sad that they're putting on more adventures. Um, I, I am. Yeah, I, I do kind of think I would have enjoyed them on some more adventures, but. Oh well. Um, I am looking forward to the slightly more expansions. Really looking to secrets of Angora. So, anyway, in brief, uh, Blackrock Mountain, a lot of fun. Your debate in getting the adventures before they leave the store, at the very least, save up some coins if you can, or put a little bit of money onto it, get the first wing, then you have the opportunity to get them later on if you want. Play that first wing, if you don't really like it, you've not spent the whole money on the adventure, missing out the experience of the adventure and having the cards in wild, which I think has been really fun. So that was my brief synopsis overview of Blackrock Mountain. Um, in short, do get it.
Um, I can't say, can't say League of Explorers will be exactly the same, but I definitely, I probably would err on the side of buying that first adventure. Uh, but I will be uploading the videos of me playing through Blackrock Mountain, and I probably will play League of Explorers soon. Can't guarantee that I will have it finished and uploaded before it goes off the store. So, like I say, get the first wing initially. Um, but if you don't, you can always come back here and watch me play it. Um, so you can click over to my Twitch and watch it in one, well, technically two, big long uh, videos of me playing through Blackrock Mountain. Or you can stick around here, hit subscribe, hit the little bell if you want to. Not sure what it does, but go for it. Um, and I'll be uploading it into, in smaller videos here. Probably not each individual fight in a video. Certainly not individual fight in the same video in single videos, um, but equally not one big four or five hour video because YouTubers seem to prefer smaller videos. Apparently, I don't know. I, I always have a thing for watching half an hour long videos. It feels like a traditional TV, but there we go. Um, smaller videos definitely getting more views. So a bit that way. Can't see why. But whatever. So it'll be coming up here in a bit of a series. I'll release it over a brief period of time. If you want to watch it all now, head over to Twitch. Be there. Hit subscribe if you like. Don't. So my name is Gaz, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.